Let's go, go, go. It's another K Town beat. YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outliner, I'm back, got a brand new video for y'all today, I got, somebody got ways, he been wolfing, I don't know how long he been wolfing, probably three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, we don't know, but look, I'm about to pick this out, you see this thing coming through, man, look, anyway, we got the way. somebody told me they wanted me to do a wave tutorial, I'm doing a wave tutorial, it's a light fade with waves, light Light, light, drop, fade, wave, barber tutorial. Look at, look at this thing, man. It's thick. You know what I mean? So when I'm done with, it, I'm gonna make it pop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how to get down to the get down. You know what I mean? We gonna get down to the get down. But uh, anyway, so you see how thick it is. You see its edge up, nothing there. But I'm gonna make it there. You see its light right there in the edges of the corners. But right here. The first guard I'm going to use on his hair, we got the one and a half guard right here. We're going to use it, cut it down. You can see the waves start to pop already. You see the waves coming? They popping already. That's the good thing about woofing, you know, so how to make deep waves, how to get better looking waves. You're going to have to woof in order to get them. Woofing is part of the process. If you want deep, rich waves, along with brushing and maintaining your hair, conditioning and things like that, you need that also. But, you know, you want to go with the flow pattern of the hair when you're doing this. Just take your time with it and, you know, make sure everything is even as possible and then jump into the fade. Now, after you get everything knocked down to the length, the desired length, you want to go to the next step, which is we'll go open with no guard and we'll go up and make our first guideline. Now, remember, you do everything open to close, but for here, since we're doing a life aid, we want it open. It's going to make it about like it's real close. It's like half. It's like using a half or something, right? Right? It's real close. It's, it's really close to ball, but you do that all the way around the head, and then you go into the next step, which is after this, we're going to use the one guard. So that's, and we're going to use the one guard open. So now we get ready to use our one guard and you see me adjusting it to open. You open it and you go up and make your second guideline go up about half an inch. It doesn't have to be a, a hard guideline, but you want to go up enough to where you can see the second guideline. And you know, you want to make sure you're using a nice even motion all the way around the head. You do the same thing that you did when you did it without the guard all the way around the head. And right here, I use the one guard open and I take some of the bulk off to save me more time. This will help me with fading down the line to where it'll come out quicker, it'll be a smoother transition. So do that all the way around the head. Also, you can go open the close here and you wanna focus on that point that I just showed you. You wanna kinda keep it in the middle of the, of the second guideline. Here you take your one and a half guard and you fade up 
on the second guide line that you made until you blend it out and we do that open the close so you're just really basically going against the grain here and i like to use a comb and stroke comb and stroke motion you got to use both hands at all times so either you holding the head or you combing the hair down in place so you can see how it's blending where the where the bulk is coming off where it won't be like meshed together so you can see how the blade is i mean how the fade is coming out so in school they teach you to use a comb and that's what i use uh because it's more sanitary and plus a comb will let you know if it's any bumps on the head or any snags and anywhere i'm trying to tell him to loosen his hair right here because sometimes a client will hold the head and it'll be kind of stiff so i was telling him hey you gotta loosen up because i'm looking at it from multiple angles when i'm doing it so i need his head to be kind of loose here so anyway i don't use a brush until i feel like the hair is really sticking to the head because brushes are unsanitary because it holds hair and you're not going to use if you cut 20 heads a day you're not going to use 20 different brushes so i don't really like to use brushes i use combs and then after you use that one and a half you come back with that one guard open and you kind of work away that first guideline that you made and you just make everything pop make everything blend you know pick your spots if it looks like it's too much bulk in a certain area you pick your spots the problem with when you're cutting waves is it is it's tedious because the wave pattern it's kind of hard to get out because it's wavy it's not just straight so you have to do a lot of different things sometimes you have to work it at an angle sometimes you have to go straight you have to go across so it's time consuming it's tedious but once you get it to lay down right oh it's perfect then right you got that got that cut see that blend it's coming through look at that blend boy we almost there we almost to the home stretch for this side so like I say, you do open and close and, and you just work it and comb it, comb it down, comb it with the hair pattern. As you can see, the, the fade is almost there. And like I say, this is a light fade, kind of like light drop fade. I don't know if that's the term for it, but it's it's a light fade with a drop of peel. We're going to call it light fade with the drop of peel. Then after that, you take the one guard off and now you have no guard. You're going to open the close again. But you don't close it because close will make it really too close. You want to be able to see the line all the way around the head. That's the purpose of it being a light fade. So you can see the line all the way around the head on the back of the neck, around the ears, and around the front. Now you see how the fade came out. It's coming out good. You're looking at it. Yeah, I like how this is coming out. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. After that, you might need to come back with the one guard just to knock some more bulk off if you're not happy with the way the fade is. I wasn't happy, completely happy with it. I like the fade part, but it's a little bulk that I want to get rid of. So I take that same one guard, knock it down, get it to where I like it. And then, you know, I work my way to the front of the head. I want to kind of save myself some time. So I'll use the guard until I can't use it no more. Knock some of the front down just to prepare the edge up before I go to the other side. Now when you get to this side, you do the exact same thing. You come with the one guard, the one and a half guard, you use those two guards, and then you use no guard until you get the blend the same way that we did on the other side.
Now, I didn't show the back because it's pretty much the same thing all the way around the head. I just did it in different sections for you. Normally, I just work all the way around the head, but we took the edge of point now, so I take the one guard and I knock the edges down in the front because I want everything to lay smooth. Uh, when you have wavy hair, sometimes it curls up and under or over, and you can't really see the hairline, so we had to knock it down a little bit. And we just stand on the edge. You see that? Stand on the edge. Not too much. Boom. See that? So now on the edge of frozen stiff, you notice what I use. I'll try to leave a link in the description for it. Frozen stiff is a good uh, stiff product. It's, it's a holding spray. So this is the holding spray, my go-to holding spray. So on the edge of you start in the middle, you work your way over, left to right, right to left, whichever way you want to do it. We do that. Boom, we get the edge up. And like I tell you on the edge ups all the time, you just want to take your time, you want to visualize it, you want to see where it's going. Right now, everybody's view of the edge up is different, lineup is different. This is how I do mine when I'm doing videos. A lot of time I stand right in front of them, but because I'm trying to show you for the video, sometimes I'm not standing right in front of them, standing to the side, off to the side. Uh, you can use your mirror if you don't like to stand right in front of them, but this is how I do it. And you see I'm not pushing this line back in. You see the, the line where it is, right? And I'm asking him, do he want long sideburns or short or pointed? He wanted them short, so. See what we're doing right here. And this is the new wall detailer allies that I did a review on. If you haven't seen the review, I'll try to leave a card up where you can see it. See the review. If you look in the top corner, I'll have a, a card there. So check it out. Uh, the blade is really nice. I'll show you how to set them also. So you see this? You see how, how they hit? Made a good line. We didn't have to force anything right here. That's what you want to do. You don't want to force it. This is part of the light fade where you can still see the lineup around the ears, on the back of the neck. You see these these tap and goes right here. I call them tap and go, tap and go. You know what I mean? So these will get you, get you there faster. You don't have to put in a lot of work. Now to the other side of the edge, you do the same thing that you did to one side, you did to the other side. If you feel like it's off a little bit, you have to look at the mirror. Try to make sure you get it get it straight. You see me looking in the mirror, I'm trying to see the mirror. Also, on this side, I'm gonna tighten it up. I take my time with it. This is where he's light at on this side. So we have to take our time and match it up. You see that? So now, you see I'm not pushing his edge up back. You see where his line at? One hit of quitters right there. That's what I call these. One hit of quitters. Hit it and go. See how it makes a sharp line. Come around. Get everything together. Like I say, you can focus on the details after you get everything almost done. Focus on the details. Come back, sharpen everything. Make it super crisp. Also, you finished making the line in the back. Same thing we did to the other side. We're just doing the same thing on both sides. So just take your time, like I said, make sure you clean it up. You see how that fade look? That fade is like perfect, right? Drop down in the comments. Let me know how the fade looking. You know, right there, one to 10, you know what I mean? Give me that one to 10, man, what, what it is, man. That light fade, man, what it look like. Also, don't forget the detail, like not the wild hairs off, like what I'm doing right here. You see any hair sticking up? On ways it looks bad if you don't trim the wild hairs. You see that? You got to make sure nothing is sticking up because once they've been wolfing for a while, it's, it starts to grow straight up. Another thing after the detail part, after you put the line on it, sometimes you might see something. You see right there where I'm pointing it? I, you might see something that you need to go back and touch up on. Don't be afraid to go back and touch up just to make everything flow that much better. Sometimes when you put the line, you can see like exactly where the fade needs to sit or where it needs to be touched up. So that's what I did. I saw it, I wanted it to lay better. And partly that's because of the wave pattern. The wave pattern is, I told you, you have to take your time with it. 
be diligent with it and and just keep at it but it'll eventually come out right you see this this is you see the blend you see that right you see that i might change myself to just the outline of blends or something I, I don't know anyway but that's that that's the haircut i put a little enhancement on it we talked about it i didn't record it but i can show you right here when i came back put some uh, enhancements on it after i did the cleanup work that i needed to do and that'll be the end of the video but hey don't forget like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you know how we do it until next time love peace and hair grease i'm out